Many of the UK road signs are fairly obvious, for example, traffic lights, or others you've probably seen so often as a passenger you just know what they mean, for example, roundabout. But some signs are not obvious. To help work them out, it helps to know the signing system for the UK road signs. I'm going to now go through this. Circular signs give orders. These are things you must legally do or not do. If you don't follow these orders, you could be fined by a camera or pulled over by the police and given points on your licence. There is also a colour coding system typically used, where blue signs are positive orders. So these are things you must do. Red circular signs are negative orders. These are things you must not do. Much like in computer games, where blue are your allies, positive. Red are your enemies, negative. Triangular signs typically give warnings. So these are things such as hazards that you might need to adjust your speed or your position for to be able to safely negotiate them. Directions and general information is generally given on rectangular signs. We can use this information to work out what some signs mean. At first, this sign could be most of the options. It's got a picture of a bicycle, so it's going to probably be three out of four of the options. It's probably not going to be motorised vehicles only, as there's no picture of a motorised vehicle. It is in the red circle, however, so that's a negative order, something you must not do, so you must not cycle. So, it's going to be no cycling. Another picture of a bicycle, so it's going to be something to do with bicycles. It's a blue circle this time, so this is something you must do, so you must be a cyclist. So the most likely option is a route to be used by pedal cycles only, and that would be the correct answer. A final sign for a picture of a cyclist, this time in a triangle, so it's warning you of cyclists. So the most likely option is going to be cycle route ahead. You've got to watch out for cyclists on the road. Maybe they're going to be crossing your path. I'm now going to show you all the major signs from the UK Highway Code. Most of them are obvious or can be worked out by following the signing system. But some are not obvious and can't be worked out. You just need to know the sign. So make sure you memorise all these signs so you know what they all mean and you stand a great chance of passing your theory test and you know how to interpret them once you've passed your practical test and you're driving on your own.